So hello and welcome to the Refreshing Views Observatory. As you can see today we've got an eyepiece turret to review. I've been sent this by Enpei, Nottingham Precision Astro Engineer, and they sent me this to review. And importantly, they're not paying for this video, there's no sponsorship, so I can tell you truthfully how well it performs. But make sure you stay to the end, they've kindly given us a discount code to offer you, the Refreshing Views viewers. So stay to the end and I'll give you the discount code. So we've loaded up the eyepieces. I've got my three to is it eight, three to eight millimeter Schwaboni planetary zoom. I've then got a 30 millimeter uh, Nagler, but I put a times two Barlow on that one. Then I got the 13, then the 90 millimeter panoptic. And then I've got a guest eyepiece. Now I got this from Stargazing Steve. He lives up on the Welsh coast up in Pembrokeshire, beautiful part of the world if you're ever in that part of it. And he buys old binoculars, vintage binoculars, classic binoculars, takes the lenses out and turns them into really high performance uh, eyepieces, possible eyepieces. So I've got an indeterminate Stargazing Steve plus, uh, eyepiece fossil eyepiece and it's really sharp it's really holding its own even against some of these good good eyepieces here so I've got the crater Posidonius which is this uh, full fractured crater on the moon and it's all, all this lava flooding and then it's all cracked and broken up it's quite a cool thing but what I love about this is I can zoom in you know, from a wide angled low power view all the way up to the high power view uh, all without taking you know having to swap eyepieces it's really convenient it's really good fun that's the high power view I'm switching over to there so you get a wider field of view and then going over there to even wider so I've now got sort of half the crescent in the field of view now that is really quite pretty and I've adjusted uh, the focus, I've adjusted all these little helical focuses so all the eyepieces come to the same focus. So I don't, other than a minor tweak, don't have to touch the focus every time I change the eyepiece. And Steve's eyepiece is actually really good. Certainly pretty sharp, certainly holding up pretty well to some of the green and black ones there in terms of that edge sharpness. You haven't got quite the field of view that you have with a, you know, a Nagler, a Teleview, a, a Panoptic, but in terms of sharpness and contrast and, and the quality of the view, it is pretty good. So let's do a go to caster. Caster. So I'm just using the SynScan sort of standard software. So go to. I'm always a bit nervous. I've got all the eyepieces hanging off the end of that. And of course it's only a lone turret, so I'm being really quite nervous. I've got my hand underneath it just in case. So the cool thing about Caster is it's actually a double star. So when you look at through your telescope, you've actually got two little headlights looking back at you. That's quite cool. So that's for Stargazing Steve's eyepiece. It really is good. Jump to the 90mm panoptic. That's the 13mm Nagler. And this is the 13mm Nagler with the times two and a half Barlow. You can really see the airy disc in this. Gosh, that's really pushing the power. So I've just done the math. I'm at times 430. That's quite some power. And it is effortless. You just literally just move them around. I'm quite, I'm quite enjoying this. So Catherine's just come to join us. She's going to swing the telescope back to the moon and she's going to walk from the wide angle and go through up to the high power there using the turret. So let's swap seats in Catherine. Right. Actually, mind you, how did you go past? Right, so you're looking at the moon. Mm -hmm. So click on moon and then go to. Yeah, I've done it all myself. Right, check that the bull's eyes are lined up with the moon. Yeah. Are they on the moon? Mm-hmm. Okay, then look through the eyepiece. That's quite cool, because you can see like the shadow, like yeah. where it is. So 
So. so what did you think about going from that wide angle low power up to the high power view just by twiddling the turret? Freaking it's cool because it's just really useful because then you can just change it like multiple yeah. times. And you like the convenience of it. Yeah. And that's the beauty of the turret <laughs> isn't it? That's the point of it is you can have all your nice eyepieces and just switch from one to the other just by rotating that turret. Mm -hmm. Should we go and look at, I've got another one we can go and look at. Right, so we can go to Algeaba. Algeaba, so it's another mm -hmm. double star. So let's go back to Sinscan Pro. So that's the one you want to do there. If you could do the go to again, please. Yeah. <laughs> this is the cursed meridian flip. So we've just done the Meridian Flip, we're now looking at Gamma Leonis, which we just worked out, it's called Algiaba, which I'm sensing is a cat's having a look out of sight, somewhere down there in the, in the gloom. This is the other thing we're doing, every time we finish using an eyepiece we put the dust cap back on just because our breath or the sort of cold night air is going to form some dew, so we've been quite careful. We don't want them exposed to the cold night air, got to keep the cap dust covers on. Stop them getting all dewy. Cool. Yeah. Kind of close, get further and further away, and you're yes. like, oh, this is actually. Oh, so like, magnifies the view. Yeah. So are these all your eyepieces on these are, these on are the, all my eyepieces. But then this red thing is on uh, the turret. Oh, okay. So yeah, these are all your own eyepieces. All my own eyepieces and the camera. Mm -hmm. And then borrowed the red turret. No. I really like it. I like the way you can just change that. Mm. Pretty cool. I pretty do like that, that in terms of sort of observing convenience. Yeah. It is pretty like you've cool. You've got isn't what? It? Five? One, two, three, four. Yeah, five. Five, five, five and the camera. Yeah. So you can just be like, ch -ch 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 -ch, and like that. So you seconds. can find the object, get it centered, and then crank up the power to look at what you want to look at. Mm. Well, that's pretty mm -hmm. good. I think that sums it up. Then you've got the cost of it you got the weight of it to bear in mind you've got to look after the eyepieces but you do get that convenience that ability to change magnification to change eyepieces effortlessly all it does is just to rotate it uh, in the turret so i hope you enjoyed that observing session last night i'm now back in the observatory it's now the following morning i've kept the roof on even though i mean because you have the electric lights on there's some building work taking place next door so what i thought i'd do then is give you my thoughts on how well the the ruby one and a quarter inch turret performed and what my thoughts were now first of all NPay are not paying for this video they're not sponsoring this as so you know so i'm not uh, beholden to what they are so i can tell you truthfully what i thought about it and i've used it for you know several times now and catherine my daughter catherine came out and used it with me last night and we both agree it's actually really nice to observe you can switch from smoothly from eyepiece to eyepiece you don't have that far of taking an eyepiece out getting the fresh one refocusing hoping the target doesn't wander out the field of view being able to switch eyepieces smoothly in well literally a matter of moments that's all it takes and because they've got the helical focuses they're actually already focused so it's really really nice i can't 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 deny that so a few things to be aware of then one the turret is quite heavy and then of course you put the eyepieces in as well so you do have that large weight hanging off the back of the telescope so make sure you know your focuser can tolerate that weight particularly when you're pointing up and towards the sky make sure that your mount can carry the weight as well and make sure that your telescope is well balanced you know with all this weight at the back end i've got this on the celestron c11 and of course it tolerates that quite happily but make sure particularly if you're using a refractor or a smaller telescope do check out do check that out so if you have a look at the website, they've got the prices down for the turret. And that also includes a Peli case. I can't show you the Peli case. I've been sent the marketing version, so I haven't got a Peli case to show you. So it's about the same as a Teleview Ethos eyepiece, one of the top of the range eyepieces, but it does mean that you get to use all of your eyepieces and be able to interchange, be able to swap back and forth, you know, so conveniently. So yes, it is a, you know, a, a high value item, uh, but it does mean that you can use all of your eyepieces and have that wonderful observing experience and to be honest with you it's so well made it's so robust it's going to outlast me that's for sure but npay have offered a five percent discount uh, if you use the refreshing views discount code 
So put that in when you're checking, that's 5%. And that's not just for the Ruby Turret, that's for any of the NPay products as well. So use the, use the refreshing views discount code and NPay will give a 5% discount. In terms of fit and finish, it's really well made. I can't fool this at all. It's fantastically machined, it's anodized, anodized aluminum, aluminum if you can say it properly. Really well made, love the helical focuses, love the fact that you can get each eyepiece you know, into, into its individual focus. Big thumb screws, so you know, if you've got your gloves on, you can hold on to that. It's got compression rings inside, so it's really well made. Nice haptics as you move it around, nice control as it snaps into position. And even though we were at quite high power, uh, as we were looking at those double stars, thinking it was at 400 and something times power, the, well, there starts the building works. Even though we're at quite high power, we still have the double star in the centre of the field of view. You know, we weren't we weren't becoming misaligned as we rotated from eyepiece to eyepiece. So, really well made. It's really well made, really well machined. So, just to wrap up, then, say so five percent discount code if you use the refreshing views when you check out. Uh, and that's not just on the Ruby turret; that's on whatever NPay product you want to use. And there's no time expiration yet, so that's valid. Well, indefinitely. Really well made bit of kit. Really robust really thought about things like thumb screws helical focusers you know the compression rings fantastic uh, rotation you know there was no misalignment even at high power so it's a really well made bit of kit just be aware of the weight you know the weight on the focuser the weight on the mount and making sure the telescope is well balanced and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like don't forget to subscribe and we'll bring you more videos as we explore the beauty of the night sky